Hey you guys, it's Fit Greek here. Today's video is going to be on my one year breast aug update. And without further ado, let's get into some topics. I did uh, write some stuff out. So, I'm gonna be answering today the five W's plus the H. Who, what, when, where, and why. Like and subscribe the video so I know that the content that I'm giving you is great. First off, I'm not your doctor, I'm not a registered uh, nurse, not a plastic surgeon. This is all based off of personal uh, beliefs, personal preferences, and personal experience. So, who, who did my surgery was Dr. B, Alexandris Biaris. He is actually in, where is he located? He's actually located in Phoenix slash Scottsdale. I get my implants done. That was June 5th of 2018. Also, the second time I went back was October 8th of 2018. I got my breast done was because I did, I do have a daughter and I breastfed her between five to seven months. So I kind of wanted that volume back. What did I get? I got 480 cc's silicone implants by Mentor. That is my manufacturer who created the implants. And they're smooth, round and smooth. The profile on them, which is the little lump that you see, is ultra high. And the reason why I went with ultra high was because, like again, breastfed and I wanted that volume. How? How was it done? So, um, I went through my areola, which is called subglanular. Inflammatory, inflammatory, that fold between the breast and the thoracic cage. So, I went through the areola because it had rec uh, quick recovery, quick surgery, and less side effects for me. And that is per the manual, you guys. So, when I say do your research, your research is not finding a doctor. It is literally, let me get zoomed in. You will pick up one of these books. And those are, that is literally the instruction manual to the implants themselves. Such as when you buy a new board game, it gives you instructions on how to play correctly. When your doctor decides to contract with a certain manufacturer, they need to be notified and trained on how to use the specific implant. I went under my pectoral muscle, which actually helps create more protection. So I went through my areola. And also, um, I do have sensitivity back, even though I went through two procedures. Um, the reason why I went through the second surgery was because I am 5'7", and I am also like, 125 pounds that is not a lot of weight so I am very thin and the my connective uh, my connective tissue and um, elasticity wasn't the best so um, not knowing that it kind of pocketed so I wanted to just go back in and singe everything it up and that was mainly on the right side, so I'm like, well, what the heck? Since I'm already in for the right, let's just go again with the uh, left side. So he just tightened the caps, uh, capsular uh, together. Now, come to find out, like I said, a year after, um, my capsular is actually pretty lazy. and Capsular contraction is like connective tissue and um, connective tissue, which is like collagen. And when it 
tightens up it will like it's like a uh, saran wrap when you put like a blow dryer it'll shrivel up okay so that's what it does it shrivels up and it holds that implant in place when women um the body kind of freaks out and it's like what's going on it over tightens and pushes and pushes <sighs> well mine is just the opposite it's just kind of like bloop. like it just kind of like wants to do its thing it's just kind of chillaxed so being that I did kind of get a bigger size for my physique, which is still within the range, but because of my connective tissue, I could have gone a little less in CC and probably been good. Um, so you have a good range for CC ladies. Just make sure if you're more thin and you have like more thin skin, maybe you might want to go less on the implant CC than um, on the higher end. Just, you got to play with it. Anyways, um, I went through my areola subglandular versus the inflammatory. My doctor used the Keller funnel. That is why he went through the areola. Um, also the reason why he, I at one point was going to go above my pectoral muscle. He's like, well, if that's the case, I'm going to have you sign a waiver because the fact is, is let's be real. It's, you know, I need that muscle to help keep everything in place. And when you're putting it above the muscle, you're allowing your skin and connective tissues to take on this heavy toll. And so it kind of almost messed up his kind of his artwork per se. It looks like a piping bag for those who bake or any icing, you know, the squeezing. It's a plastic bag from 100 to 500 and everything in between 25, 50, 75. They will cut at that number of your CC so that when it, or it's not at the top, but it's at the bottom. So they'll cut the, the funnel portion, the point, so that when they when you're laid back, it literally will saline and plop right into your cavity that they've used that capsular, and that's where the implant will sit. Um, so when I found that out, I mean, he did both implants in 30 minutes. I was in and out and done. Like, I mean, I can't believe it was that quick, you guys. Oh my God, my foot surgery took longer than that. Anyways, um, so, areola, and we use the Keller funnel. I also paid 3995 plus the five, an additional 500 because of the second surgery. That was anesthesia. He couldn't help that. That's an old, a whole do, uh, different doc, you know. Um, also, you want to, when you're done with your procedure, you have within 45 days, you have another pamphlet, ladies. These two pamphlets will save your lives. This pamphlet will also This one is your protection. You have 10 years on your implants. You register it if it's not. I think the physicians RN will register it for you, but within 45 days of your surgery, you register your implants. Um, you have 10 years on them. So God forbid if something does puncture, rupture, um, manufacture warranty, they will replace that same implant, that same size, that same everything. Now, if you decide to go with an additional $300, I, it's really cheap actually I think it's like an additional um, $300 you can actually adjust and play around with what size so you don't have to go back to the same size if you decide to in 10 years um, so the most crucial like ladies you cannot just go to Google you don't let's be real you don't know what you're asking you only hear what you are hearing from others. So the best thing, this is not gonna lie to you. This is gonna tell you from point A to, like from A to Z and everything in between. I, I kid you not. And it's very, and the fact that it does have statistics and, and the medical terminology and everything, it's so, it's such an easy read to be honest. So you'll get your manufacturer, 
and the procedure steps of what the doctor should be doing to implant this implant into your body and then also the protection behind it that you should register within four, minimum 30 days but this one says 45 for a uh, mentor Ooh, and i'm just throwing things like that also make sure you keep all your paperwork together receipts and all that stuff next i did invest into the um victoria's secret knockout that was the best impact um bra this is what he re recommended again it was um during june that is why i got a great heck of a deal through dr v because it's summertime in arizona and who the heck wants to be all sweated up in one of these when you can be playing in the pool right we're laying out so uh he suggested that that was during the annual victoria's secret so i was able to get and the thing is is it was kind of hard to find the size because I was still kind of swollen. But the best bet is eBay. I got a whole bunch of them for like 25 bucks. It was the best deal. Recovery uh, after surgery. My surgery was a breeze. I mean, I literally probably could. <laughs> You'll see my other videos. No capsular contraction, and I recovered quite quickly. Scars, the scar incisions were peri, so they were half cut. They were like crescent moons, and. Um, that's when he put the funnel in. That's how he uh, went through the areola. So this, the scars are hardly any visible. That women do complain about is the pressure. Now ladies of you who have already breastfed, your tissue has kind of already stretched. Let's just be real. When you've nursed, your boobs are already kind of stretched out. So when you go to put an implant in, you're not going to feel the pressure. Whereas a or like a 20 year old, who hasn't had a kid yet has put this big old implant and the recovery for me and as far as the pressure was not bad also like i said i have a really huge thoracic cage so i don't have to struggle for air like it's just it's that way anyways to wrap up the video i don't want to keep you guys much longer pros on implants it looks sexy let's just be real more volume uh accents waste Harder to find bras, harder to find swimsuits. Like, let's just be real. Um, when I was shopping for Victoria's Secret um, swimsuits, I just, you know, they sell small, medium, large, and that is 33 inches. I fall as a 33 double D. So, um, swimsuits are harder to find. There could be possibly the complications as you get older if you're a smoker, if you drink, you know. All that stuff. Cough, caffeine will slow down your incision healing. Capsular contractions. We already went over that. Infection. You know, uh, if you don't keep it dry. You know, I actually you blow dried my incision so that it would stay dry. Scars. Um, I actually have not used anything for scars. And I went under the knife twice. And these suckers are hardly visible. Um, the possibility of being lopsided, you were you were probably most likely, let's be real, lopsided before your procedure. You're going to be probably lopsided after your procedure. So that's not a doctor thing. That is just an anatomy thing. I'm slightly lopsided on my right side, but it's not huge. You know, I'm not running around naked. So, hey, nipple sensitivity for me has come back. Now, granted, I had very, when you work out and you're really healthy, you have more of an active stimuli. Um, now that it's been a year, sensitivities come back just as like my feet. Um, let's be real, you have nerves and all that stuff. So when you cut into that, you need to let it regenerate together and then you will um, gain sensitivity. Is Find a doctor, find three doctors, pick up the, the manuals, read those, quiz your doctors. The top three questions I would ask, you know, after you read your pamphlet and whatever you find concerning, quiz your doctor on that. So for example, when I read the mentor um, pamphlet, I'm like, hey, Dr. V, and this was my two week out before surgery, I'm like, hey, last minute things, you know, we were going over, I'm like, can we use the Keller funnel? 
He's like, no other way. That is the only way we're going aerial. I'm like, perfect. You're in. You're my doc. Um, he's like, the reason why I do that is because the risk of capsular contraction goes way down. Read this. So quiz your doctor of how they're going to proceed to implant this boob into your cavity. Also ask, you know, will you be given meds? Um, ask if you're required to wear a bra after. Ask if uh your activity level after you know so anything that you need answered i would refer back to the book and if it's unclear that they that, that they can explain it because the thing is they need to abide by the manufacturer's book they can't do they can't derail because it's like had like me um i have a ford edge and if I decide to put a BMW air filter into my car, well now what the heck do you really think that's going to function properly? But it looked the same and it was cheaper. No. Like, that doesn't make sense. So, it could void my warranty on my vehicle. So, they don't want to work. They don't want to void any kind of 10-year warranty on their implant. They're telling you it's going to last for 10 years, if not longer. Um, but... I am not worried about breast implant illnesses. We do take in silicone throughout our daily lives as a society, whether it's lip gloss, chapstick, sunscreen, hair uh, products, makeup. And lastly, to close this video out, that's your main thing. Connective tissue equals what you should be able to take as a good CC bra size to cc size so what i kind of came up with was if you look at it um there's 100 cc 200 cc 300 cc 405 a b c and d and hit a like and subscribe to my channel i don't just talk about breast augmentations <laughs> But I felt this was uh, in due time just because I've had a couple of subscribers ask me. But every woman is different.